In the beginning, there was an empty darkness. The only thing in this void was Nyx, a bird with black wings. With the wind, she laid a golden egg and for ages, she sat upon this egg. Finally, life began to stir in the egg and out of it rose Eros, the god of love. One half of the shell rose into air and became the sky and the other became the earth. Eros named the sky Uranus and earth he named Gaia. Then Eros made them fall in love. Uranus and Gaia had many children together and eventually they had grandchildren. Cronus, in an effort to protect himself, swallowed his children when they were still infants. However, his wife Rhea hid their youngest child. She gave him a rock wrapped in a swaddling clothes which he swallowed, thinking it was his son. Once the child, Zeus, had reached manhood, his mother instructed him on how to trick his father to give up his brothers and sisters. Once this was accomplished, the children fought a mighty war against their father. After much fighting, the younger generation won. With Zeus as their leader, they began to furnish Gaia with life and Uranus with stars. Soon, the earth lacked only two things, man and animals. Zeus summoned his sons Prometheus and Epimetheus. He told them to go to earth and create men and animals and give them each a gift. Prometheus set to work forming men in the image of the gods, and Epimetheus worked on the animals. As Epimetheus worked, he gave each animal he created one of the gifts. After Epimetheus had completed his work, Prometheus finally finished making men. However, when he went to see what give to give man, Epimetheus shamefacedly informed him that he had foolishly used all the gifts. Distressed, Prometheus decided he had to give man fire, even though gods were the only ones meant to have access to it. As the sun god rode out into the world the next morning, Prometheus took some of the fire and brought it back to man. He taught his creation how to take care of it and then left them. When Zeus discovered Prometheus' deed, he became furious. He ordered his son to be chained to a mountain and for a vulture to peck out his liver every day till eternity. Then he began to devise a punishment for mankind. Another of his sons created a woman of great beauty, Pandora. Each of the gods gave her a gift. Zeus' present was curiosity and a box which he ordered her never to open. Then, he presented her to Epimetheus as her wife. Pandora's life with Epimetheus was happy except for her intense longing to open the box. She was convinced that because the gods and goddesses had showered so many glorious gifts upon her, that this one would also be wonderful. One day, when Epimetheus was gone, she opened the box. Out of the box flew all the horrors which plagued the world today. Pain, sickness, envy, greed. Upon hearing Pandora's screams, Ephemetheus rushed home and fastened the lid shut, but all the evils had already escaped. Later that night, they heard a voice coming from the box saying, Let me out, I am home. Pandora and Epimetheus released her and flew out into the world to give hope to humankind.